friends, this is Aishwarya from freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on Jobs and Careers. The topic that we are going to look today is Averages. So in the previous part of Averages, we dealt with the simpler problems. From now on, we will be going into much tougher problems to understand the overall concept better. So the first question is, the average marks obtained by 150 students is 30. If the average marks of the past candidate was 40 and that of the failed candidate was 20, find the number of candidates who passed their exams. So let's take the number of candidates as x. Okay. So first what they have given average total number of students was 150. So total number of students is 150 and their average marks is 30. So we know to find the overall number we should multiply the number of the students into the average. So 150 into 30 is nothing but 4500. So what else they have given? So they have given the average marks of the past candidate was 40. So past candidate we don't know the number of people who passed. So let's consider that as x. So number of past candidate is x and their average marks was 40. Okay. And then the number of failed candidate was 20. So number of failed candidate is nothing but 150 minus x. So why do we consider 150 minus x? The number of candidates must be an addition of both the past and the failed candidates. So, we take x as the past candidate, then the failed candidate must be 150 minus x into what is their average? The average is 20. So, now you should equate both these equations. So, what do we do here? 4500 is equal to 40x plus 150 into 20 is nothing but 3000 minus 20x. So, take the 3000 here, it becomes 1500. How 4500 minus 3000? Here 40x minus 20x is nothing but 20x and 75. So the number of candidate who passed the exam is nothing but 75. So how did we do it? The one side on the left hand side you took the over number of students and their average and equated it to the past candidates and their average plus their failed candidates into average. Overall, by solving the whole sum, you will know to find the value of x. In certain problems, they will ask you, instead of the past candidate, they will ask you the failed candidate. So, after finding x, don't stop it there. You have to find 150 minus x in case of the failed candidates. Let's go to the next sum. The next question is, the average age of students is 7 years and the average age of teacher, 10 teachers is 50 years. If the average age of group of all teachers and students is 8 years, find the number of students. So this sum is more similar to the previous sum but here in the question they have asked the overall number of students here. So let's get started. So first to form the equation we should know what is the total number. So there are two things in the question. So what are there? One is the students and another one is teachers. So students and teachers. So let's go to the first line. In order to form the equation you should know the right hand side and the left hand side. So average age of students is 7 years. So we don't know the number of students. So number an average. So number of students we don't know, let's take it as x and their average is 7 years. Similarly, average age of 10 teachers is 50 years. So we know both the number and here. So for the left hand side of the equation, you should know the total number of students and teachers and their overall average. If the average of the both the group of teachers and students is 8 years. So here we don't know the total number of teachers and students. So let's consider this equation. Total number of teachers and students. So we don't know the students. So we take it as x plus teachers. The overall average is nothing but 8 years. So into 8 is equal to now form the equation. So they have given students is 7 years. So 7 into x plus average age of 10 teachers is 50 years. So 10 into 50. So let's solve this equation. So it becomes 8x plus 80 is equal to 7x plus 500. Take the x one side, 8x minus 7x becomes x, 500 minus 80 becomes 420. So we know the number of students is nothing but 420. Let's go to the next problem. So the next question is, the average monthly income of all the employees in a particular company is 20,000. Then they have given the average salary of the male employee is 22,000 and that of the female employee is 15,000. They have asked what is the ratio of male employees to the female employees. So let's consider male employees as X and female employees as Y. 
So let's form an equation in a usual way. So we don't know the total number of employees. So we take it as x plus y into what is their overall average? It's 20,000 equal to what is the male employees? It is x into 22,000 plus what is the female employees? y into 15,000. So I'm just dividing it by 1000. So it becomes x plus y 20 equal to x into 22 plus y into 15. Okay, so now 20x plus 20y is equal to 22x plus 15y. So bring all the common things to one place. So 22x will go there and it becomes 2x and 15y will come here and becomes 5y. So what is the ratio they have asked for? Male employees to female employees which is x by y. So x by y is nothing but 5 by 2. So this is the ratio of the male employees to the female employees in that particular company. In today's video, we solve more problems on the topic average. In the upcoming videos, we'll be solving much more tougher problems. So if you are a person who's looking for a job, kindly register in our freshersworld.com. Like this video, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.